everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries and Stargazer Soaps. I am making coffee soap. Um, I use full coffee as my liquid. I freshly grind beans and add them in, uh, or, 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 you know, make the coffee, brew the coffee from that. And I make it really strong. And that was my fragrance. I have coffee and peppermint fragrance because the coffee does not retain the scent, the smell. My cord is getting caught up on something over here. this into two equal parts here. Ooh. And then I have you know, all my normal stuff in here, my cream, and uh, I do extra cream with this one. Coffee is so good for your skin. Okay, so then I have coffee grounds that I'm going to add to this one. That was a lot of coffee grounds standing here wondering if I really wanted to add that much. <laughs> and titanium dioxide to this one. That's a lot of coffee. Didn't measure, I just Oh, that's not true. I did um, a couple of big heaping tablespoons. By a couple, I mean like six heaping tablespoons. Let's try that. Alright, I'm going to blend up the white, make sure it's white enough. That's good enough. I, didn't, I don't think I finished um, telling you about the fragrance. It's white, it's not white fragrance. It's coffee and peppermint. Yeah, I'm glad I took those out. Um, I don't need them. But the coffee in here is uh, ground extra fine. I've been out of my coffee soap for a while. And it's a popular one. So I've been making a lot of popular ones lately, but this is really a popular So, I'm not making medical claims, but coffee is really good for your skin. So is caffeine. Actually, it may have more white than I really want. It's okay. Ooh. And I haven't made this in a really long time because the last time I made it, I made 80 pounds, 60 pounds of coffee. I had like 500 bars of coffee soap for a while. 
because I would make it and then it would sell out. So I just made a ton. And it's been out for a while. And this is going to overflow my mold. I didn't calculate for all of the extra. That's okay. I'll either have really tall bars or I'll make myself a couple of extra bars. I'm going to smack this down and see where I'm at. Mm, I might call that good. Get a little of this on the top, I will, but I don't know, it might be cutting it close there. Could have done a zigzag top. Must be able to. Never had with this one before, but. Of the day, been on my feet most of the day, baking or cleaning or soaping. Or that I'm not very talkative right now, but my brain's kind of done. The smell is pretty good, so we'll see. Hopefully the scent um, stays. It's supposed to. So that's good. These bars are just going to be a little big, but that's okay. I'd rather have my bars too big than too small. And my bars are pretty hefty anyway. They're all seven ounces and up. Smack this down. I'll take some of these coffee grounds. It's just kind of I'm gonna just do the lower. I got enough. No glitter on this one, of course. Okay, so now that I have sufficiently made a mess. There is coffee. Don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting video attached to the back half of this.
going to go ahead and cut the middle loaf first. I really like how I did the top this time. I don't normally do my tops like that on my coffee soap. But I had a lot left, a lot, a lot of, I had enough left. I thought, why, why not? Whoops. Yes, honey, that's perfect. Awesome. My daughter is, um, well, she's three, so my three-year-old. Yes, I'd love to see it has started drawing recently. That's pretty. And she's getting really good. She's starting to draw faces. So she went in the other room just now and said, I'm going to draw your soap. And that's what she's doing. That looks pretty. Wow, that's awesome. Good job. You want to draw more soap? She's not allowed out here when I'm making soap, but if I'm just cutting soap, she can come and hang out with me. So I try to time when I'm making soap during nap time. Look at, look how pretty. I'm really happy with this one. And I love the size of my bars now, the shape of my bars. They just make me happy. All right, I'm going to get ready for the next loaf. So here's another piece. Mama, the juice. Mama, see the juice. I see. That's the juice. Wow, that is great. Yeah. Mama, mama, mama. This one is going to look pretty similar to the first one. In pieces, and I'll cut those up for samples. So the coffee soap, I, I alternate how I make this one. It always looks the same, um, but I, I change up the fragrance. Sometimes I do a vanilla coffee. Sometimes I do peppermint coffee. This time I did peppermint. Peppermint seems to be the favorite. I have a Jamaican vanilla coffee that I use in it. That one smells really good. A little bit of an air pocket, but I can fill it in. And I do have issue with drag marks with the plant, with the uh, coffee grounds on the soap cutter, but it's okay. And the last one. I used to plain all of my soaps after I cut them. I used to bevel the edges and um, shave some off of the sides and all the way around. And I stopped doing that. I, I really didn't do it with the coffee soap anyway because um, sometimes the coffee grounds would damage my planer. But now I just go through and with the, when the soap is soft, I just smooth up the edges like that and leave it. Um, leave it alone. And I find that I actually prefer the look. The bar looks bigger. That one's pretty. There's a lot more white in here than I thought. I thought I had, well, maybe not. Maybe yesterday I was saying I had more white than I realized. I don't remember. It's hard to keep it straight, but I like it because it's a nice balance. This one is really pretty. Um, with my mold, I haven't, I can't get it quite straight on the edge, so I ha end up with a little curve. And, you know, it doesn't bother me. I have realized it doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade, and... You know, it, 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 as soon as you use it the first time, all of the little imperfections go away. So, all right, this is coffee, peppermint coffee soap, and this will be cured mid-September 2016 and available on my website, stargazerluxuries.com. Thanks for watching.